Welcome back. This is module 3 of Capital Investment and in this module we are covering Cost Capital. This is the second lecture of this module and in this lecture we are covering the cost of long term debt. To find out the cost of long term debt we need to know the concept of bond valuation and year to maturity. So, we will cover some of the basic concepts of bond valuation and yield to maturity. To find out the bond valuation, we need to know the market interest rate of the bond, then number of years before the bond matures, the coupon payment yearly or semi-annual coupon payment of the bond, which is found as the coupon rate into par value of this bond. And we know that par value or maturity value of, the, of a bond is paid at maturity or at the final year or at the final period of the bond. Here is the formula of bond valuation. So here IND indicates coupon payment of the bond which is equal to coupon rate into par value. Then M indicates par value, face value or maturity value of the bond. RD indicates market interest rate. We can also use this formula, the second one, as a shortcut of bond valuation. Now, here is an example of bond valuation problem. So over here, par value of this bond is $1,000. This money will be given to the investors or holder of the bond at maturity. And the original maturity of this bond is 15 years. So Par value of this bond will be given after 15 years. Market interest rate is 10% and coupon rate of this bond is also 10%. So based on the coupon rate, coupon payment, which is the INT, is $100. So if we use this formula, value of this bond is $1,000. Now look at this uh, this thing. Market interest rate and coupon rate is both are 10%. So, if you know the market interest rate and coupon rate of a bond is uh, are same, in that case, value of the bond will be always equal to its par value. Now, here is an, an example of yield to maturity. Probably you know that yield to maturity is the rate of return that you will earn on a bond if you hold the bond till maturity. Here is the example. Suppose you have a 19 year bond which pays 7% annual coupon. Its par value is $1000 and currently the price of this bond is 821. So if you invest in this bond, your investment will be $821. After 19 years, you will receive $1000 which is the par value of the bond. In the meantime, every year you will receive $70 coupon payment. So $70 is calculated as 7% into 1000. 1000 is the par value bond equal to 70. Now we want to know what would be the return of your bond if you held the bond until maturity. And this return is called the yield to maturity. So here is the formula to find out yield to maturity. Based on this formula, yield to maturity is 9%. To find out yield to maturity of a bond, we can use uh, Excel. We can use the IRR function of the Excel to find out yield to maturity of this bond. So when we calculate the yield to maturity of a bond, uh, there are some assumptions. First of all, the probability of default is zero. Secondly, the bond cannot be called by the issuer. In that case, uh, the yield to maturity of this bond will be 9%. Now, let's look at the cost of long term debt. The pre tax, that means the before tax cost of debt, is simply equal to the yield to maturity of the bond and it is uh, 
adjusted for the flotation cost. Now let's recall the yield to maturity of the bond, uh, which depends on a number of factors like bonds coupon rate, maturity value, par value, current market condition, and selling price. So cost of debt or cost of the bond de also depends on these factors. That means the interest rate, maturity date, uh, the par value or principal value, current market condition, and so on. And finally, after obtaining the bond uh, yield, we need to adjust uh, the uh, adjust it with the tax rate because interest payment on debt are tax deductible. So if we deduct the tax on bond, it will decrease overall cost of the bond or overall cost of the debt. So the uh, this will have this will have the effect of reducing the cost of debt as bonds or debts are tax deductible that means interest payment on bonds or debts are tax deductible this tax deductible uh, opportunity on bond interest rate or debt interest helps the firm to reduce the cost of debt let's look at an example so over here we will learn what is meant by net proceeds and flotation cost. Suppose Justice Corporation issue is selling 10 million or 20 year bond. But these bonds provide 9% coupon rate and the part value of these bonds are $1,000. Currently, market interest rate is more than 9%. That means the currently market interest rate is more than the coupon rate of this bond and this is why the firm must sell the bond and discount which is 980 dollar so selling price of this bond is less than its par value in the meantime to issue the bond the firm has to incur some sort of flotation cost which are two percent so two percent on $1,000 which is the par value of the bond is 20. So the net proceeds that means the money that will be received by the firm to sell a $1,000 bond will be $960. It is uh, the, the selling price of this bond is 980 and there is a protection cost of 20% which is 20. So selling price minus the flotation cost then we we'll find the net proceeds of the bond so this is the money that means that this 960 dollar will be received by the firm by selling this bond though the bond's par value is 1000 now let's look at how to find out before tax cost of debt to find out before tax cost of debt we can use three methods. These are using cost quotations. Then we can also calculate the cost. And finally, we can also use approximate cost of the debt using approximate formula. So in this uh, uh, course, we'll, uh, we'll learn how to find out cost of debt using Excel. And we'll also learn how to find out the before tax cost of debt using approximate formula of cost of debt. So when you will use the quotations, you need to look at the uh, selling price of this bond. If you say that selling price of the bond is equal to its par value, the before tax cost of debt or cost of bond will be always equal to its coupon rates. Once again, if the selling price of the bond is equal to its par value, the before tax cost of debt or bond will be always equal to its coupon interest rate. Secondly, we can use quotation that is sometimes 
used is the year to maturity on similar risk corn. So, uh, for, the, for the quotation, similar risk corn. So, similar risk corn is could be used or could be used as a cost of debt, before tax cost of debt for the uh, for the bond issued by the firm. And finally, to find out the cost of debt, we can also calculate the cost. So we can use the IRR function, internal rate of return of the bond, and to find out the uh, YTM year to maturity, we can use trial and error basis, a financial calculator, and a spreadsheet. In this uh, course or in this module, we will learn how to find out before tax cost of debt using a spreadsheet. Here is an approximate formula to find out cost of debt. So RD indicates the cost of debt. I indicates the coupon payment. Uh, coupon payment is 1000 indicates the par value or face value of the bond. ND indicates net proceeds. N is the total number of periods of the bond or years to maturity. And this this two is only for formula. ND is the net proceed, and we know that 1000. It, it means the part value of this or phase value of this bond. So, based on our previous example, which is from here, we see that part value of this bond is 1000 and net proceed is 9 per, uh, 960. Coupon payment is uh, 90, which is 9% uh, of the, which, is, which can be found from the 9% coupon rate of the bond. So from this example, we can calculate the before tax cost of debt using this approximate formula. And based on this formula, cost of debt is before tax cost of debt is 9.4%. Now we have to find out after tax cost of debt because interest payment on debt are always tax deductible. So, when you, if you want to find out that after tax cost of debt, you need to know the tax bracket of the firm. So over here, we are uh, the Justice Corporation has a tax bracket or tax rate of forty percent. So uh, after tax cost of debt is equal to nine point before tax cost of debt, which is uh, nine point four percent into one minus the tax rate, which is forty percent or point uh, four zero. So after tax cost of debt is 5.6%. That's all about this lecture. In our next two lectures, we'll learn how to find out the cost of long-term debt in Excel or how to find out cost of bond in Excel. Then we'll also cover the cost of preferred stock.